I don't, I don't think that it has to be done immediately. I think the most important thing is to make sure that we secure the ticket sales. And then, as you know, the NBA is in a little bit of uncertainty now with the potential work stop. So I, I see this thing going on, yeah. you know, sometime. That's the summer. Over, over, over the summer into the next year. Can you give us any other names that are there, Mr. Barter? No, well, you know, Bobby Patrick has, has Gary Solomon, Bobby Patrick. Um, a lot of folks that you've seen in a lot of the local ownership, it shouldn't be a surprise. We'll figure out who's got more change in their pocket, and I'm sure they've, they've spoken to them about it. And so it's not a secret, but, you know, how they come together, that's going to be a private business deal. Um, my just suggestion is that everybody that has the financial wherewithal know that the state and the city are committed so that there's some security. I understand that the NBA is committed, um, and they're all going to have to have discussions between them amongst themselves. But you heard, you know, Buddy mention a number of different players, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were more people that were interested in Bob. The problem is going to be finding people, not keeping people out. And, uh, you know, the more the merrier, because I think that makes sense. I also think that Gary Suess, from what I can tell, you know, has some interest in maintaining a, a financial position, whether it's 35% or 50 You know, all those percentages will change depending on what they value the team is. And I think that number's going to change, too, depending on the worst college. Well, what's your theory for the drop in attendance real quick? I don't really have one. I, I think sometimes people just take for granted you know, and the economy's been tough, and um, they haven't. There really hasn't been, you know, an active push. And every now and then, you just have to refresh the call for people. I think the attendance has been, you know, pretty good. I think if you look at the average attendance around the league, ours is not really that bad. It doesn't hit the mark, and so I just think if we redouble our efforts and we ask folks to, I feel fairly comfortable we'll be able to hit that number. But it takes, you know, again, it's elbow grease, and, and we said this from the beginning. You go back. In the first press conference we had announcing that the Hornets wouldn't even be here, we said this very thing, that it would be up to the fans whether they stay. The same thing was true about the Saints. Thing. If people buy the tickets, there's almost no way for teams to leave. If they don't buy the tickets, you know, then you get into this issue of what's the level of state subsidy. That's always very uncomfortable for a major you know, team. Nobody really wants to do that. We've had to do it in Louisiana because of our lack of our corporate presence. And so, you know, again, the governor reiterated the difficulty with investing money when they have to be cuts in higher education. So you have to find a win-win that works. Right now, the package for the Hornets and the Saints, as you know, you know, is a very aggressive package. People forget that when we built that arena, we built it with cash up front, and there was no debt service that was built into the original Hornets deal. So we basically handed over the stadium to them, which was very positive, and it was good, and it helped us, and it works. Now we've got to go back and relook at it and see if we can find some win-wins that are, you know, similar to the kinds of structure that we had with the Saints deal. I feel comfortable that we can make it work. Is there some type of legislative issue? Uh, obviously, the session's coming up, and uh, I'm just wondering, you know, is there something, some kind of instrument, something of that nature, tax credits, or uh, well, something I'm like sure, that, that listen, nature? Again, everything's in play, as the governor said today. We want to find a whole bunch of different ways to do it. So a buddy suggested this morning that we that we structure it like we did with the film tax credit for, mm -hmm. you know, the film industry. I think perhaps the public is not aware of the, all of the incentives, but there's a pretty, the Hornets have a pretty good deal. But at the end of the day, it's about making the numbers work and making the team stay here. And again, the message to the to the folks out there is buy the tickets. That's really the most important way. That's the way that they can, you know, best help this situation. And I know we have some off-topic. Yeah, a couple of, um, the state architects on the state, how the 